this is the clavichord. Um, again, there are lots of different flavors of clavichord, and this is kind of the wild card keyboard instrument. It's never really died out. Um, early examples from the 15th century are quite similar in many ways to examples from the 18th century to do the 19th century, and it didn't need to be revived because there was still a hardcore of enthusiasts building clavichords through the 20th century and the 21st century. Um, it's now achieving great popularity, but as you can hear and see from this style of instrument, um, it achieves great popularity, but in very, very small circles. It's an exceptionally quiet instrument. Here's a very loud chord. And that's it. And this is quite a loud clavichord. This is a copy of an instrument from about 1700, um, originally made in Leipzig. And this instrument is, is a certain flavour of clavichord called a fretted clavichord. And what that means is that certain notes share pairs of strings, which means that some notes combinations are not possible. So I could take, for example, um, the C, the B, and the C sharp, and they share, all share the same string. This is a triple fretted clavicle, which is quite rare. And what it means is that if I play the C sharp, I then can't play the C or the B, because they all share the same strings. What this means in practice is you have to be very, very careful and very precise about your finger touch. And we find theorists from the 18th century particularly talk about that when you've mastered the clavichord touch, you can play anything else, the forte piano, the harpsichord, the organ, really, really wonderfully well. And to a certain degree, that's absolutely true. This little instrument, though, has a lot of expressivity, even within its very quiet dimensions. You can play sort of loud, soft. You have a certain degree of control of dynamics, which is rather nice. And we also have this amazing effect called the beibung, whereby if I vary the pressure of my finger when it's playing the note, I can alter the pitch of the string a little bit and give myself a vibrato, a bit like a, um, a string player, a modern string player. So if I play a, play a straight note, it sounds like this. If I play it with beibung, it sounds like this. And this is a very expressive thing that composers knew and, and were writing for uh, that's only really possible on the clavichord.